In this demonstration, we will process a payment against an invoice within the Acumatica customer portal. So from the dashboard here, we'll go to my documents. The screen is going to load all the records here. So you have two tabs, you'll have all records and open documents. This will display all the records for that particular customer. If you move over to the open documents tab, you will see the open payment, the open documents that are available for payment. And we have an invoice here in the amount of $55,000. We'll click into this line. We'll select the pay option here, upper left. The invoice payments window will launch. You'll have the payment surrounding or the details surrounding that payment displayed. We'll select the PIA pay option. We'll get our checkbox here, letting us know that this transaction is completed. Our green checkbox indicates that this uh, transaction has been successfully processed. We can X out of the window here. We'll refresh this page. The $55,000 transaction will be removed from the open documents page as we've su successfully made the payment. If we go back to the all records tab, we can see that $55,000 transaction is listed here and it has been closed. In this demonstration, we will process a sales order within the Acumatica customer portal as the customer. So from the dashboard here, you will go to orders, my orders, You'll see a list of the orders available for the customer. In this case, we have three, two of which are complete. There is one that's open, so we'll click into that line. We'll select the pay option here. This will open a secondary window. This window is uh, the order payments information, as we can see the order type and the order number and the uh, payment methods that's stored for the customer. Again, these are the payment methods that are stored back within the ERP instance. Selecting the magnifying glass gives the customer the opportunity to select from various um, methods that are recorded uh, on that customer's record. Um, same options are available for any ACH payments. So if uh, there is an ACH payment that's on record for the customer, he or she can select that and or a credit card payment method. Um, Customer can also check the box here to enter a new payment method if he or she desires that. In this case, we'll use a card uh, that's already on file. So we'll go ahead, we can see the amount, which is unpaid of $17.85.99. We'll select the capture option here. And we can see the transaction has successfully captured based on the processing status. And the uh, operation here has completed. So we can X out of this window, refresh, and we see the balance here for this transaction is now zero because the payment has been successfully processed. In this case, we have successfully processed the payment within the Acumatica customer portal as a sales order. In this demonstration, we'll take a look at Pius customer portal. We'll take a look at the conveniences that business owners are able to offer and extend to their customers for convenience of payment. From the main page here, a cardholder would enter in his or her email address and password. Once that's entered, they'll select the sign in option. From the sign in option, they're brought to their activities page, which will display a list of recent activity, invoice numbers, due dates, amount, and the status of those invoices. They'll also be able to find a convenient navigation bar along the top of the screen to toggle back and forth from. Simply a customer will select into that invoice and they're brought to their payment information page. The payment information page is going to display the store payment methods that are on file for that customer. As we can see here, there's an opportunity to record a credit card or bank card. The last four digits of the card number will display as well as the expiration date. Cardholders will also have the opportunity to store ACH payment options. Again, fully compliant and kept behind our firewalls from a safety standpoint. Along the right hand side of the screen here, you'll also notice the payment details. Again, allowing the cardholder the convenience and peace of mind of understanding that he or she is making the payment against the proper invoice. So all the line items associated with that invoice will be displayed. 
The subtotals will also be displayed as well as the total balance due. And also the customer will have the ability to select the view attachments. So the invoice that's created within Acumatica will display here and the client can select that invoice for viewing. If everything looks appropriate, the client will then go ahead and select the pay button here. Once the pay button is selected, the transaction information is sent to Paya for payment processing. At that point, you will be able to confirm that the payment was accepted, confirm the invoice number, the amount paid, the payment date, the last four digits of the customer's card number, transaction ID, as well as the authorization code, and any remaining balance. Also, as an additional convenience, if the desire to print that uh, form here is needed, there is a print option so a customer can print that receipt. Additionally, the customers will receive a confirmation email to their email address that's set up once the account access is set up as well. And the business owner will also receive a confirmation that a payment was processed through the customer portal. These are the conveniences that Pi offers to business owners to extend to their customers, again, giving that flexibility and peace of mind with being able to make payments and not needing to wait by the phone to accept that payment. Again, this is one of the conveniences that Pi extends to its customers at no additional cost. This allows the business owners to extend that flexibility to their customers and have those payments come into their business at their leisure. Additionally, we'll see here along the top, the profile section here, some additional features and functions for the card holder. As I mentioned earlier, the ability to store both a credit card and ACH information is available. There's also the option of just adding another payment option. Very quick, very straightforward. The My Informations tab is also available so that if he or she needs to update or change passwords or email addresses, they can certainly do that. And finally, the notification section. This gives the customers the ability to select when they would like to be notified, when an invoice is due or when a payment is due. So again, putting the power back in the hands of the business owners as well as the card holders to provide that level of convenience. Again, this is the Pi Customer Portal. Thank you for your time. In this demonstration, we will send a sales order to a customer for payment using Pi's integration into Acumatica. So first thing we'll do is we'll select our invoice and we'll select from a list of the invoices here. And once we have that invoice open, we'll confirm that we have the proper invoice as well as the payment settings. If all is correct, we'll select the create quick invoice option. At this point, we'll confirm the email address for the customer and confirm the due date. Once that's done, we'll select the OK button. And within a matter of seconds, you will see that that invoice was successfully generated in email to the customer. Now let's take a look at it from the perspective of the cardholder. As the cardholder, you will receive a message requesting that you click now for payment. Once that's done, you are brought to a page that's going to allow you to enter in your payment information. But you will be able to identify the sales order number, the date, the invoice date, the balance due, as well as the date due of the invoice. Any line items associated with that sales order will also be displayed on this page. So next thing to do is enter in the payment details. Once all the payment details are added, you will check your box that you agree to the terms and your card holder will press pay. Once that's done, you will receive your confirmation page here, letting you know that the payment was successfully processed. You'll see the uh, payment amount. You'll also see the payment date, last four digits of the card number and the six digit authorization code. And if there were a remaining balance, that would also be displayed here. And finally, you do have the option of moving forward with printing on a full sheet of paper if necessary. At this point, you have successfully emailed a sales order to your customer and you've allowed your customer to make that payment using Acumatica and Pius integration for the quick invoicing feature.